Sure, sure. You just take it easy, big egg. Squeeze me. Is that a penny over there? Easy squeezy. talk that way. Oh, sorry. I... They talk like this. Arr! Excuse me, Ms. Witch, but can I borrow your magic wand? Sorry, sorry. I'm just roasting a marshmallow here. <laughs> well, this one looks easy. Uh-oh. I think I just jinxed it. In here, but be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself, but I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more thick skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone, but the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days, and I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need, and we'll b we'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember, never double cross a double crosser. Okay. I need three pieces of evidence. Better split up. Wait, who am I talking to? Yep. Yep. Ho. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. <laughs> I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> 
Ribs are down. Wow. This carving is beautiful. Why, thank you. Hi, worms. Yo! How can I get to the market? That's way over there. Don't bother. Prices are nuts. What do you know about Fanny Flats? Ah, uh, she runs this town with her fake money business. But she doesn't control us book warriors. Every time she tries to cut us down, we just multiply. Do you have any evidence that incriminates Fanny Flats? Oh yeah, we just uncovered a big juicy piece of evidence this morning. Can I have it? We ate it? What did you expect? Okay, bye. If you see any juicy evidence, please don't eat it. Okay! okay. <laughs> <laughs>
like those guys just went out of print. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, collecting evidence. I've got to stop saying that so loudly. That's the best evidence I'll find in this part of town. I should check out the other neighborhoods for more. needs a half box tag. Bought some side pops. Yep. Energy right now. Ugh. No more rhymes. This fish market 
is clean. For a fish market, I mean. But just dirty enough to have some juicy evidence, I'll bet. Silver carp, big head carp, black carp, brass carp, fermented fish, packs a bunch. Come get your carp. Fish with worms. Eat catfish for a healthy brain. By fishing, I mean its freshness is suspect. Ha! Looks like evidence of something. Just one more piece of evidence to find. Officer down. Looks fishy. Better take it as evidence. I got all the evidence I need. Better bring it. all the evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, yeah. This is some hot dirt right here. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? I thought you were going to arrest her. What? 
How is she going to make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river... Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. Let's beat it. This was a bust! What? Bust? Bust! It's a bust! Ah! Ah! Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double-crossing! This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect. When we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh, and which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Get ready for the shushing of your life! You are a ah. Help me out here, will you? I'm having a bad day. Ah. I know what Mind Swarm would say about this situation is. to this story. What's going on? Who's in here? Hello, Cassie. You? The self-righteous little writer? What are you doing in here? 
We riders are most effective when we get inside someone's head. Oh! Okay, you. Give me your honest opinion on how I'm doing so far. Now, what did that little little thing ever do to you? You just remember your aspect, Raz. You will be shown. Killed my archetype just when I was starting to work. Create good color at her. It always works for my students. Ah, I will silence you once and for all. Was a real life. I'm just going to take a quick break to make some tea. My turn, Raz. Get that gate open so I can teach her a lesson. Oh, not this again! Hey, Don't be tired over there? that gate. Class is in session. Asleep, you're asleep. When my students fall asleep in class, they get sent to the principal's office. Oh no, not you. That's right, now it's two on one. Hey, don't forget to count me. <laughs> Here is a little positivity. We got him on the... on the run. Get that gate open, kid, and I'll bust this whole crooked operation. No, no. Something's not right. In fact, you could say something stinks. You! Oh, no. I can't handle all three of you at once. That's kind of the point. Ready, gals? I'm ready. Together now! I can't believe I failed. Again! I guess, I guess I'm not the real Cassie. Yes, you are. And so am I. Me too. Mostly when we need money. Hey, I'm pretty good in a fight. You might have noticed. Are you the real Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? Oh my, they really aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try. But I feel like I've... 
lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, Bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Well then, think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees. So, how's production? Eh, jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on. Two pins for that special projection in your life. psychic but more than once I'll tell you I'm about to get into some heavy business. Am I sure I'm ready for this? I'm ready for whatever might happen. long enough it still works of course it still works auto over engineers everything crawler I I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me Otto you're looking well fed Ford you sound like your old self well some things are clear to me now that weren't before but come on there's a lot to be done Compton! And Bob. I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Fulbear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear! I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the beanbags, remember? Lucy!
everybody ready? Now, this hunk of junk was made by Otto Mentalis. So, uh, there's no telling what might happen. Oh, what can I say? I was underfunded back then. But if everything goes well, we might be able to have our dear friend Lucretia back in the circle. For good. Now, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> Me too, kid. A mental construct I made for Lucy to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she lived with you. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. You. What did you step in? I don't know. It looks like a puddle of goo with a mask of me in it. Can anyone see my brother? He was just standing here a second ago. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, well, come on, Raz. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of the situation. I'll work on Nona. do this one? In my sleep? It's a better show if you do it, Rusty. Because the audience isn't sure if you'll make it. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Oops, it happens. Now get back up there. <laughs> I would be so done by now. Can Donatella balance her duties as a mother with the demands of the circus? Join her at the Rage of Arena and witness this incredible balance and act in person. Is it the fastest you can go? Be 
Lydia Quattle as she lifts weights that are, frankly, quite alarming. <laughs> Step right up to the wheel of endangerment and behold the daring father daughter team of crazy and Augustus Aquattle. One will live, one will die. Crazy kill her papa? No one knows! <laughs> the only thing sadder than a child stabbing their parent is when it happens without an audience. Don't let this sacrifice be for nothing! Girl, throw knives at dad. I just... I just don't feel good about it after last time. Anyone can make a mistake, crazy. Papa, your leg! Okay. Ah! Press my foot. Cross that knife. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Rob? Good job! You grab on! Children are safe. No, I will show you my little secret. Come with me to the high dive. We haven't had a high dive in the Aquato family circus for years. You know, curse. You know, the more I think about that curse, <laughs> the more I think it's a lot of Gravolsknok. Now get up there. Ford, 
Our circus didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. I created that two-bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. But it looks like she escaped. Come on, Crowley. Stinky dam is over this way. Wow! Wow! Guess you learn a thing or two when you live with fleas. Here's the steamer trunk tag. What's this? It's Lucy and your father. Oh, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the astrolabe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind to make Lucy herself again. And then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? Well, they were both all alone in the world. The only family the other had left. My sweet little Gussie. Let's keep moving. Wait, wait! This would be a sweet picture if I didn't know everybody was under some sort of astrolathe hypnosis. I never used the astrolathe on the rest of the family. These are real memories Lucy made for herself after I was gone from her life. Good family, excellent balance, very flexible. Not afraid of heights. Not like you, hey Crowley. Lucy, please! <laughs>
You were the one who gave me the pamphlet to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp? You're the reason I became a Psychonaut? Well, it is even you are crazy, but you were such a nerd with those comic books. Hey, True Psychic Tales is a graphic non-fiction periodical. Some part of you knew you were living a lie. You sensed Raz's power. You thought he could help you. Oh, I don't know, Crowley. I get so confused sometimes. Usually I was happy, just so intense and stretching the children, telling them to stay away from the water. Then I feel oh, so sad. And just when I was about to figure it out, everything would start to unravel. I forgot how much I hate this place. This is it. This is where I locked up Maligula. Behind that dam. We need to unlock it and draw Maligula out into the open. Then we'll combine our powers and direct the astrolathe to blast open a pit into the deepest part of her mind. Why don't we just, you know, blast Maligula? Maligula is a part of Lucy's mind. A primitive part that may have helped her early ancestors survive. We all have our own Maligula, Rasputin. We just know how to keep it locked up down below. If you can secure the area while I keep Lucy calm, then we should be able to unlock this dam together. to figure out what's causing it. There must be something causing this bad mood around here. Open that lock, and we'll use the astrolabe to blast it. I think I hear something. I need the purse tag here. I think I suitcase tag. That's what I mean. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. This hat box needs a hat box tag. It's a locket. It's 
My sister, Marona. But, but. Help me focus the astrolathe, Rasputin. Quickly! I think we made many mistakes. But now, we're gonna face them. I couldn't before. I was young, scared, and alone. But now, I'm only one of those things. Oh, he's grown. Let's hope the astrolathe can make a deep enough pit. Don't worry for it. I'll be right here beside you! <laughs> Got him, Himmel! Jackpot! Bullseye! I felt her. Maligula. I know the identity of the mole. That's incredible, Sasha. Well, I had mechanical assistance, which you didn't need. <clears throat> Agents, we have a security breach in the Green Needle Gulch. She's here. Obviously in distress, so I pulled you out. Is that her? I told you he was up to something out here with his girlfriend, Maligula. That's not his girlfriend, you little snitch. I'm his girlfriend. My God. Oh yeah, funny story. That's not really Nick from the mailroom. I know that, but why? Doesn't matter. I'll take it with me when I take her. 